Good morning and welcome to our breadth unit well-being. And for most of you, it may be your second unit or um, a later unit in your studies. And again, I think you'll find it quite an interesting perspective on people's health and well-being as well as our broader and various population groups that are discussed throughout the semester or the study period. So the aims of the unit, what we're going to do in the next series of slides is I'll quickly go through um, really the introduction that you can read through in your unit information and learning guide on the LMS. But sometimes it's nice to go through that um, visually as well. So basically the aims of the unit are to really explore the concept of well-being and look at understandings and frameworks of well-being. And what are the dimensions and perspectives of well-being through different disciplines? So I've popped down um, our unit learning outcomes here where really we're talking about um, con comparing, contrasting and critically evaluating the different perspectives that are delivered to us and then relate these um, to one another across the semester in our discussion forums and looking at links and overlaps within these. So we're really viewing the world beyond a, a narrow field. We're broadening that by bringing in different disciplines. In our discussion forums then, we're really looking at synthesising the knowledge gained from lectures and readings and discussing questions guiding learning through that forum. We'll analyse and critically think about the benefits and potential limitations of the different approaches and perspectives of well-being and then we'll integrate this knowledge from one subject area to another and articulate those personal understandings through our online discussions, through presentation of our group project, our brochure materials and our rationales on health. The structure of the course, there's a weekly one hour lecture recording that is delivered and available through your ECHO Centre. There is a link on each of our topic pages and you'll also see that link on the right hand side of your home page where you can click on the ECHO block. It'll ask you to log in and you put your student um, number and your login details there. As you log in for the LMS it's the, it should be the same. Then the time spent online engaged in your tutorial discussions should be at least two hours. So you might post something in relationship to a question. You might need to revisit that over the, the week to see people's responses so that you can engage with other people and um, turn really utilise that group. The... Last learning outcome is improved communication skills by taking part in those forums and the sorts of things that we're looking at are uh, critical creative thinking, social interaction, uh, independent learning, social justice and ethics, particularly related to our responsible use and ethical use of ICT, looking at global perspectives of wellbeing and that interdisciplinarity um, through wellbeing. But more specifically, in terms of our participations, you're expected to participate in all of the weekly tutorials with contributing to a minimum of 10 of the tutorials to meet the requirements of the Integrated Studies Unit. So your engagement online is assessed weekly. There's not a specific time, like I said before, that you have to log on, but it must be seen that you've been engaged and contributing by the end of that topic week. If you have any issues, uh, you're away or you've got um, no internet access for a particular week, you will need to email your tutor in advance so that they are aware of that when assessing. And then the other part of our participation mark is looking at your group participation, um, which I'll discuss in the next slide. If we look at this particular side, it just gives you some ideas of the sorts of evidence our tutors are looking for in regard to your online discussion forums. And that's completing the reading, and that might be evidenced in your forum where you're citing that particular reading or you're referring to that in your discussion. You're watching, obviously, those audiovisual materials, lectures and any videos that your tutor has suggested. 
we can monitor these um, online so your tutor can see um, when these have been accessed and engaged. So visiting any other websites of interest also, and if you're posting those online, that's showing that you're going a little further than just looking at the materials presented. And considering those discussion questions and key concepts in your answers and engaging with other students, asking appropriate questions or expanding and explaining points. So that, that again, you'll see that communication through writing, reading through ICT is seen here. In regard to your group work participation, that also will be monitored online. Your groups will have their own discussion forum and again engagement through group discussions will be assessed. Um, particularly your communication and the interaction, so that ability to be able to relate and collaborate with others, that exchange of views and ideas through that forum, which will then be quite evident in the final um, product. These are all really um, worth worthy attributes, not only in helping you at Back, tackle that task of that assessment, but also in building the skills needed beyond beyond the unit in terms of um, collaboration and communication. So the assessment is broken down as follows. Uh, task one is a 1500 word health rationale where your tutors will discuss this in more detail with you but it's really looking at the health priority areas, what are they, drawing on a specific health priority area and just defining why that is a priority, what are the particular target groups that that relates to and that will probably be considered in regard to your group task as that will really inform and give you that background to be able to um, tackle task two. So task two is a group project with three to four people per group. Your tutor will allocate your groups and they'll explain where you can um, and they'll tell you who and put you into a discussion forum for that under your group number. And then you're to discuss the specific health priority area that you're addressing, what are some of those subtopics that might underline that, explore those ideas early so that each of you can address a, a particular area within that project. Again, details of all of these assessment tasks are in the Unit Information and Learning Guide and also if you click on the specific assessment task, there's a description there and there's also a link to the Marking Guide and I always suggest to read the Marking Guide as well so that you can clearly see what you're being assessed on. I've already gone through your participation assessment, assessment in the previous slides and again that is in your Unit Information and Learning Guide. And then we finish with an exam with 30% where you're drawing on uh, evaluating uh, some of that task and showing your understanding of health promotion. And then you're looking at a specific case study and relating that to well-being overall using different frameworks and understandings and interrelationships that we've discussed over the semester. So tutorials, do your readings before your lectures and discussions, participate in those discussions weekly online and check during the week to see um, people's ongoing addition to that. In your group work, engage in the forum for your group for your specific topic, work and collaborate with group members, exchange views and ideas through that teamwork online and talk to your tutors, email them as well if you have questions. If there are any problems relating to the to the actual administration of the unit, then you contact myself, Fiona Cumming, or Dr. Anthony Arntzen, our other coordinator. If it's specific to your assessments, your um, tutorial discussions, or your group work, you'll email your tutor. You'll find that when you're allocated your tutorial groups, you'll see your tutor will either be Robert or Elizabeth, and if you click on their names, uh, it'll come up with their email details as well and I'm sure they'll post those for you. So good luck with the unit. I know that we enjoyed making and creating this unit and we hope that you too enjoy the journey over the semester. Thank you.